Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe. People are constantly posting in the Blue Mind community group asking about face shapes. What hairstyle matches my face? This is what my face looks like. Does my hairstyle look okay? Is it suitable? Stuff like that. So we're gonna go through all of that today right here in this video. I'm gonna be using the word generally a lot in this video because there's no like, this is how it has to be or like you have to do it this way. This is just a general, <laughs> see? Told you I'm gonna use it a lot. This is just a simple guideline to help some of you guys understand certain hairstyles that suit certain face shapes, but it's not 100% this way, it's just, I'm just gonna start. So first of all, let's clarify something. If you type in face shapes into Google, you, there's a ton of different face shapes that are gonna pop up like around between like eight to 10, it depends on the like picture you click. My advice is don't get caught up in the specifics of trying to figure out exactly what your face shape is, whether it's like between diamond heart triangle and you can't tell between the three because generally if you look at the broad spe spectrum of face shapes a lot of them look really similar. The important thing to understand is that there's two real categories of face shapes and then within those categories there are a few variations. So the first category is round face shapes and the second category is structured face shapes. Under the round categories you have well round first of all and then you also have oval, but now oval gets a bit more complicated because it kind of, it falls under both categories of round and structured. And that's something that I'm gonna get into a bit later on. So under round, it's a bit of a simple category. It's mostly round. You can also classify it oval and I'll explain more about oval in a bit. In the category of structured, there's a lot of different options. There's like square, triangle, heart, diamond and then once again oval can be classified as structured as well as round. So under structured even though I listed about five different face shapes there's only two real different ones and that's triangle and square. When you start talking about heart and diamond as well those are very similar looking face shapes to triangle. So from here on out when I talk about triangle I'm referring to all three triangle, heart and diamond all together because to me these three hair three <coughs> these three face shapes can rock the same hairstyle. So first, I'm gonna talk about oval face shapes since that crosses both categories that I mentioned, then structured face shapes, and then round face shapes, and then we're gonna finish off this video. So starting out with oval face shapes, why does this cross both categories? It's because people with oval face shapes tend to have an equal amount of roundness and an equal amount of structuredness in the same face. Now the oval face is actually considered to be the most suitable face structure for a woman. Um, no offense if you've got one. At the same time, the oval face also has the most options of rocking as many different hairstyles as you want. So you do have that going for you. The reason you can have so many different hairstyles with an oval face is because um, certain hairstyles look good for a round face and certain hairstyles look good for a structured face. And since you've got a mix of both, you tend to have a lot of versatility and you can choose any hairstyle that you want. It's generally gonna look pretty good on an oval face. Now the one thing that should generally be avoided by people with this face shape um, is having long fringes. This is because if you've got a long fringe, then this can um, accentuate the roundness that you've got going on. Unless you're Zac Efron. If you're Zac Efron, you can get away with whatever you want. Okay, so moving on to structured face shapes and specifically the difference between triangle face shapes and square face shapes. The way you can know that you have a square face is if the widest part of your forehead lines up with the widest part of your jaw down here. Um, and mine does not. Mine has a slight, goes in kind of like this. So that's why mine would not be a square face shape, just to give you some context. This face shape is considered to be the most masculine looking of face shapes, and a perfect example of a square face shape is Brad Pitt. You see that? That's a square right there. Now even though your face looks really manly, that doesn't mean that you'll look amazing with just any hairstyle. Oh no. Far from it. Not really, not really far. If you have a square face, this usually means that you want to avoid really tight square hairstyles, and that kind of makes sense. You might want to avoid going super short on the sides and matching that with like a short stubby quiff on top because that'll just give you a boxy effect um, and that just outlines your square shape even more. Using Brad Pitt as an example again, look at these two photos and the different hairstyles that he's got. As much as I love a good undercut, the haircut on his right suits his face a little bit better. I would say so anyways. However, if you do want to go super short on the sides with this face shape, then I would suggest experimenting with longer hair on top because if you have longer hair, that's gonna give some more flow and more curve to everything going on. Good example of someone who rocks this hairstyle is Anthony DeLuca. Um, as you can see in this photo, he's got a square face, he's got really short sides, but he's got a lot of length on top and altogether, it looks really good. Check out his channel if you haven't yet. He's a jolly good fellow. 
Finally, the other option that you have for a square face shape is simply allowing some growth on the sides and the back. Allow some hair to grow out because it'll give some much needed roundness uh, to your overall squareness. And you'll still look masculine, I promise. And now for triangle face shapes, including, once again, like I've said, diamond face and heart shape. All that stuff, it's just triangle, basically. Triangle is the category that my face shape falls into as my jaw, at its widest point, um, is still slightly more narrow than my forehead at the top. Now, I'm fairly fortunate to have this face shape um, along with oval people. People that have a triangle face shape tend to have a lot of hairstyling options as well. The most noticeable option that's different to the other face shapes that I've talked about so far is that people with a triangle face shape um, tend to get away with really short sides and uh, have it look really nice. So short sides like the undercut works really well with this face shape. When it comes to length on top, you have a number of different options as well. You can try out short, medium, long. Right now, mine is long. Let me try to get a piece. Just, uh, just past my lip now. You can push your hair completely back or you can rock it to the side. Something like this, it's all gonna work well with uh, super short sides. And my sides are not short right now. In fact, my sides are the longest that they've ever been since I've started this channel. Um, just interesting fact for you. One thing you wanna keep in mind, however, is that especially with a triangle face shape, the shorter that you go on the sides, the longer your face is going to look. Using my face as an example again, right now, like I said, my hair is the longest that it's ever been um, in the past two years, anyways and it provides a more overall roundness to my face. But if you take a look at this photo, when I had much shorter sides, you can see that my face appears much longer than it does now. And now we're going to end off with round face shapes. Round face shapes. Now, as I said before, people with square face shapes tend to look uh, great with long hair at the sides. People with triangle face shapes tend to look good with really short sides. Now, people with round face shapes a compromise in the middle of both usually looks best. You might want to stray away from having too much length at the sides and back and having a flat hairstyle because that'll just add to the overall roundness and make it even more round looking. But if you go too short on the sides, then there's a chance that that will look a little funny as well. Having a bit of length, um, you can actually use this as a good example. Not too much, not too little. Uh, generally a good idea. Also, hairstyles with volume and texture, those tend to look good because um, it adds a good amount of structure and a bit of contrast as well. Looking at Daniel Radcliffe in this photo gives a good example of slightly shorter but not too short sides matched with nice volume and texture on top. All right guys, that's it for face shapes. I could say more talking about ear size and forehead size, but I might save that for another time because this is getting kind of long. I can sense it. Hope the information hasn't overwhelmed you. And of course, if you miss something, simply rewind the video. It's not that difficult. You can just click it to the point that you missed or need to hear again, listen to it again. You'll uh, figure it out, I'm sure. Hope you guys had a good holiday season. I did. I'm still on holiday, hence why I'm not in my normal location. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions that don't, that aren't answered already in this video. Ugh. Thanks for watching, and I will see everyone next time.